What's up, Gemini? So I have not forgotten about you guys. I have just been extending my birthday as long as possible. It's no longer tourist season, so I can't do that. So happy birthday, Gemini. Happy birthday to all of you. Uh, for those that, that have already had birthdays by the time you're watching this, I hope you have had a blast. But Gemini, it's your season. So what that means for you guys is that all of your readings for this month are going to be first, okay? So you guys will never have to wait on anything that I put out. And since I'm so super late, guys, uh, technically I didn't do some love readings for a few signs. I'm getting that out anyways. I don't give a shit that it's May 30th, but uh, we'll kind of do a recap on May. Just consider it a bonus because we're going to do more love um, in a little bit with you guys for the month of June. So Gemini, let's see what's going on. Again, I don't care that it's the end of the month. I wanted to do this for you anyways, because it's not fair not to do all the signs. And I'm sorry for partying so hard, but I am back. But I hope you guys have been well. So Gemini, let's see what is going on in your love life. All right. Past, present, future look. This will be for sun, moon, and rising signs. At the end, I will do some separate advice for singles and then for couples afterwards. Okay, guys? And do keep in mind, guys, that this is a general reading. So if it does not pertain to you, I don't care. No, I'm kidding. Um, if it doesn't pertain to you, then, you know, um, there's a bunch of other readers. And I usually do my readings just hoping that it's going to reach the people that, you know, really need to hear these messages, guys. So let's see what's up. I try not to be so goofy because this is my first day back at work, <laughs> but let's see what's up, guys. All right. All right, we got past, present, and future. Okay. So the energy that you guys have here, speaking of Geminis, I have one calling me. But the energy that you guys have here, what's up, Eli? Do I have Yes, you do. And we're leaving in 35 minutes. So you need to get ready. All right, mommy's working. I can't focus with you in front of me. Thanks. All right, guys. So the energy you guys have is the nine of swords in the reverse. So with the nine of swords in the reverse, uh, if there was any sense of worrying, anything that was keeping you up at night, just not allowing you to sleep, this is you guys getting over it. For a small number of you, this is you guys going to be over exerting yourselves in areas that include anxiety. All right. Uh, we have the eight of wands, death card in the reverse and the wheel of fortune. I see things going very well for you guys. Um, you know, something that maybe isn't ending, that right? isn't over, but you guys see it as a very good thing. Something that you may be in the works or the process of. So let's get into this reading. So the first card you guys have for the past is the Page of Wands. So it could have been a Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius that you're dealing with or someone that you're speaking to, you know, with passion. Or maybe they were speaking to you with that passion. Could have been a Leo. You have the Strength card here. But someone you guys were talking to, something that made you feel very strong, resilient. But it involved a fallout of some sorts, okay? But with the Wheel of Fortune here, I see that being a good thing. So for some of you, maybe you're realizing that you lost feelings for a fire sign. OK, um, or lost feelings for someone. But there's something here that was let go of that you guys saw as a good thing. You turned your back on someone. You walked away from it. Um, but it's like you're in a place that you're no longer trapped by what's in your head. You're seeing things for what it is. Uh, you know, you're being very realistic about things. So that's always a good thing, whether it's a bad um, or good thing to hear. I think it's always beautiful to have clarity. All right. We have the two of swords in the reverse. So you guys made the decision to walk away from someone to turn your back on them. All right, and with the Six of Cups, you just left this person in the past. All right, we have the Knight of Swords coming out, so you guys are cutting out anything that was detrimental towards you. You know, with the Knight of Swords and just the air energy that you guys have in general, you're very critical and smart thinkers. All right, so with the Four of Swords in the reverse, you put a lot of thought into this, and you said, look, there needs to be a change, and I need to guard myself from this. So you moved on from it, all right? Let's see why this Eight of Swords in the reverse is here. Four of Wands in the reverse. So you're seeing it for what it is. You know that it's something that's very unstable. All right. And you have the King of Cups in the reverse. So for some of you, maybe you're realizing that you're not happy with someone. Maybe it's because they had somebody else. Or maybe you had someone else. Maybe you had to make a choice um, in terms of who you want. Maybe you guys are dropping somebody. Um, or maybe you just had two people on your mind. Not saying that you were dating both. But if you did, none of my business. 
But yeah, something that you guys could have been leaving behind for sure. In order to really ensure a new start with some of you, it could have been Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, or just something that you wanted to build slowly, something that, um, you know, you yourself were very clear about wanting at this point, okay? In the present moment, you guys have the five of wands. So this is tension, arguing, pettiness. Um, and it's usually with three people or more, but it could just be with you and another person. Why is this five of wands here? Swayze, no. Okay, he would have been chewing this the whole time. Y'all would have heard it. Someone said it's so annoying. And I wouldn't be able to do anything. So let's take that away. So two of cups in the reverse. So this could be arguing heavily with somebody, guys. This could be having a fallout with someone. Um, something that's in balance, but at the same time, it's like you're happy. So maybe at this point, um, you know, there's something that's just not working. But you just want to be happy. And you know that maybe by finding happiness, it involves letting something go. Okay. So with this Ace of Pentacles in the verse, either letting something go or delay on something that you may want to start with. But let's see why this is here. King of Pentacles in the reverse. Now, with the King of Pentacles in the reverse, we also have the Emperor in the reverse here. When this card comes out, anytime I do, you know, private love reading, I always have to warn the person, guys, that when this card comes up, you have to ask yourself, am I really digging this person as much as I think I am? Or are they really digging me the way that I think that they are. Because with this card here, you know, it could be a Taurus or a Capricorn or just any sign that takes on this energy. But this is someone who's bored. This is someone who keeps you around out of habit or someone that um, maybe they don't know how to walk away. Okay, but someone that's, you know, their heart isn't truly in it. So you have to decide who that is in this situation. And if it's you, you have to ask yourself why you've been sticking around for so long anyways. All right, but someone's being fake and dishonest about a loving relationship here. All right, so for some of you, you may just need a new start, and you may need to let something go, but you haven't yet. There could be somebody in this situation who's seeing other people, um, but I feel like there's somebody that is just not in it the way that they um, may have been in the past or the way that you may think they are. Nine of Wands. You guys are really trying to be resilient with something that may not be as strong as you think it is, okay? Okay. So something to really be aware of. We have the magician in the reverse. So something that you're having um, problems manifesting or someone who's just being manipulative here, guys. <clears throat> All right. We have the ten of cups in the reverse. A huge sense of unhappiness here. Um, it could be a relationship where people are faking their happiness. All right. But something that's very unstable and a big change is going to occur here, guys. And it could involve someone either turning their back on the situation or maybe expanding, maybe waiting for something more to happen. Um, but whatever change is going to happen, I feel like you guys are going to be very stern, maybe even bitchy or uh, just very direct about what you don't want in order to go towards a situation where you're going to have victory and where things are going to move forward in a very beautiful way. Moving forward, you guys have the five of pentacles in the reverse, so a sense of coming out of a place where you could have felt a lot of loss, okay, whether it be monetary or within love, feeling like something is a victory here. Three of Wands. So you guys are expanding in a way that you get over things. Whatever's happening here, you're over it. And you really have the opportunity to expand, okay? You're just going with the flow. You make a decision about what you want to do, and you really do what's going to be best for yourself. But regardless of the decision that you guys make, I really see you building and celebrating something that you're building within love. You have the Eight of Pentacles, so you're putting a lot of work into this as well. <clears throat> you have the Ace of Wands in the reverse, okay? All right. So, all right, so we have the Wheel of Fortune here, we have the Ace of Wands in the reverse, we have the King of Swords in the reverse, Queen of Wands in the reverse, Eight of Pentacles. So honestly, what I am seeing here is something that maybe you guys are putting effort into ending, or it could be something that you put effort in, but it ends anyways, but regardless of what stance you take on this, I see it as being a very good thing for you, all right? Whether there's something that you end in order to work on something else or something that you're working on, but it ends, 
for whatever reason, whether you're voluntarily ending it or you're kind of, you know, holding onto someone's foot as they're trying to walk out the door, whatever it is that's happening here, it's a very good thing. You might not see it at first because I have a feeling it's going to piss you guys off at first. <clears throat> Maybe possibly a fire sign that you're dealing with is going to piss them off. But um, I see people being pissed off, something not working, but it being the best thing. I see blessings coming in after this fallout or after something doesn't work, okay? So with the Two of Pentacles, you guys are just trying to find balance because I feel like this might be, in a way, going against something that you want in particular, okay? But I feel like it's going to be a good thing. I feel like it's something necessary. But I feel like maybe you're pushed towards it, but you're not ready for it at the time. All right, so, you know, with the Queen of Cups here, you could be dealing with Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or just a sense of you trying to find balance within your emotions, all right? But you've removed yourself from a very toxic situation, and now you're in a place where you can build. You just have to be patient and not get discouraged because there's something that you're going to lose faith in, and it might be a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. But something that you guys, you know, I, I see that this is something beautiful coming in. I just feel like you guys aren't going to be able to see that at first. Buddy, we still have, like, 40 minutes. You can go play PlayStation, okay? He's, like, in his jujitsu gi, like, ready, waiting to go. And I'm like, bro, not yet. <laughs> All right, guys, so let's see what's going on with Gemini singles, and then we'll move on to couples. Now, guys, in the community section of um, my channel, I'm going to put a post where you guys can vote on what bonus ratings you want for your birthday. Uh, whichever the top two are, I will vote for them. But guys, please keep in mind that you guys already get love ratings anyways, because I always see love winning. And I'm like, damn, is there anyone interested in anything other than love? But it's whatever you guys want. You get to pick, okay? All right, guys. So for singles, moving away from something, it was just causing you too much uh, too much stress, okay, you're not talking to someone, you're ending something, you were unhappy, they were unhappy, uh, something that was blocking your blessings, you stopped talking to them, or they stopped talking to you, you dodge a bullet, okay, very simple, let's see for couples, what's going on, spicy, I don't even know how this cat got my lip gloss. All right. Let's see singles. I mean, couples, couples, couples. I'm sorry. Gemini couples. Let's see what's going on. Okay. So, somebody, I feel, guys, in a couple situation, there's one of two things happening. E either somebody is just flat out cheating. Okay, and if that's the case, the secret will come out, okay? Um, but if not, there's just somebody who's very emotionally unstable and is going to cause a lot of instability within your relationship. So you got to get your shit together, guys, all right? If you know no one is cheating and you know that you're being stable and you're being fair-minded and grounded within yourself, um, then this is something that you have to point out to your partner. But somebody's just over the top here for, um, for whatever reason, they're over the top, Okay. But I, I keep seeing someone that is not as interested as the other person. So uh, it's time to face reality in a situation. Uh, do I really want this person? Does this person really want me? And you got to make that decision and move on. And I know that's easier said than done. But like I say, every minute you give to the wrong person is a minute you take away from the right person. They don't deserve that, right? All right, guys. So nine of pentacles in the reverse. Sometimes this could be reconciling with someone from the past or just getting into a new relationship or just a reconciliation in general, someone getting into a relationship. But someone here um, definitely has secrets. These secrets are going to come out, but it's like someone feels very strongly about this. In this case, with the nine of pentacles in the reverse, I feel like someone could be a leech to this situation. But I feel like you guys are very sure about something, but you just have to double check if what you're sure about is actually, you know, panning out the way you feel it's going to pan out. Um, but someone is guarding something here, guys. So you really have to dig deep and you have to listen to that intuition, all right? And I always say that I know that as humans, we just naturally want closure or if there's something that just doesn't feel right, we want proof that something's not right. You have to go with the gut, guys, because 
it doesn't matter if your partner's not doing anything. If you swear up and down that they have someone else or that they're doing something shady, it doesn't matter if you see proof or not. The bottom of the matter is you don't trust them. If you don't trust them, then that's that's a waste of a relationship, in my opinion. Either you work on it or you let it go, but we don't have much time for the gray area. So black or white, which one do you want? All right? Gemini, I love you guys, and I will be back with um, a bunch more readings for you guys this month. But, yes, look out for that post once I do put it up, and I will speak to you guys soon. Love you so much, and happy birthday, guys. Take care.